Would you like to know how to multiply these two six digit numbers and to directly write the answers without much effort? Then watch this video. You're going to be amazed with this technique on how easy it is to multiply numbers with a series of nines. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button below and don't forget to click on the bell icon next to it so that we can directly inform you about the new releases. Before starting with the trick of uh, showing you how to multiply numbers with a series of nines, I'm going to show you another small trick of squaring numbers between 50 and 60. Remember, this trick only works when you are squaring numbers between 50 and 60 and nothing else. Squaring of numbers between 50 and 60 just requires two very simple steps. Let, let us start with an example. Let us find the square of 56. So like we did with the squaring numbers ending with 5, we are going to split 56 into two parts, the units and the tens. Pick the value that's on the that's in the units place, which is 6, and square it. So we get 36. Put it on the right hand side. And then using the same number that's in the unit place, which is 6, add 25 to it. The result will be 31. So put it on the left hand side and we get our result, which is 3136. Isn't that very simple? Let's try another example. Let's find the square of 59. That is 59 into 59. So yeah, I'm going to take the number which is there on the units place, which is 9, and square it. So it's going to be is 81. And then I'm going to add 25 to 9, which is going to be 34. Put it on the left hand side and we get our result, which is 34. 8, 1. The square of 59 is 3, 4, 8, 1. Remember, this method only works with squaring numbers between 50 and 60. Now, let's get back to the main topic, which is multiplication of numbers with a series of nines. Using this method, we can multiply any given number with a series of nines. In other words, we can instantly multiply any number with 9, 99, 999, 9999 and so on. Let me show you with an example. I'm going to pick 1, 2, 3. Now you're going to see how to multiply this number with a number from the series of 9s. That is, it can be 9. 99 or 999 or 9999 and so on. For this example, I am going to pick 1, 2, 3 into 999. So we have three digits on the left hand side as well as three digits on the right hand side. First, we need to subtract 1 from this number 1, 2, 3. So 123 minus 1 is 122. Write it down. Subtract each digit in this 122 with 9. So 9 minus 2 is 7. 9 minus 2 again is 7. And then 9 minus 1 is 8. So that way we get our result 1, double 2, 8, double 7. Isn't that very simple? Now let's try with a, another example with 4 digits. So I'm going to go with 8998 multiplied by double nine double nine so this is what we are going to try now we are going to subtract one from triple nine eight triple nine eight minus one is triple nine seven and then i'm going to subtract each digit with nine so it's going to be nine minus seven is two and then nine minus nine is zero and then again zero and then zero so the answer is triple nine seven triple zero two this trick is so simple that there's no need to calculate. We can just go ahead and tell the answer directly. So let us try with a even bigger number this time. 456789 into 9999999. Nine, 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 
9. So we have 6 digits on each side. So the answer will be 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Here again 9 minus 1. So that becomes 8. And then we are going to subtract each. So I'll start from 4. So it will be 9 minus 4 is 5. 4, 3, 2, 1 and 1. That's the answer. That's how simple it is. Till now we saw all the examples where we were multiplying a set of digits with an equal number of 9's. That is if we add something like 2, 3, 4 we were multiplying with the equal number of 9's. That is 9, 9, 9. So 3 digits and we were multiplying with a series of 3 9's. Now we'll see how to multiply a number with a higher number of 9's. That is in this case what if there was an additional 9. Okay. So we're going to convert this 2, 3, 4 to 0, 2, 3, 4. That is we are pre going to prefix 0 for this 2, 3, 4. While the value remains the same, it will become 4 digits that will be equal to the number of 9's in the multiplier. So next we are going to subtract 1 from this 0, 2, 3, 4 which becomes 0, 2, double 3 and then we are going to subtract each digit with 9. So it's going to be 9, 7, double 6 and that's our answer. While there is not much of a change in this, we are going to we are following the same logic except that we are going to prefix a 0 before that. Without the 0, it's not going to work. So we will, have, we will prefix the 0 and then follow the same steps that we did earlier. This method works even when the difference is quite high. Let us take an example where I'm going to multiply 12 with 6 9's. So that makes it 4 short. So we have 4 additional 9's. For that reason we are going to prefix 4 zeros in front of 12 and we are going to subtract 1 from this that is 12 minus 1 which is going to be 11 but 4 zeros in front. So finally we are going to subtract each digit of this from 9 that will be 9999988 and the final result is double zero double zero double one double nine double nine double eight. In this example we saw 12 having lesser number of uh, digits and the 9 series having more number of digits. So now let, let us see another technique wherein we are going to multiply a number with lower number of 9's that is it's going to be the opposite of what we have now. So we, I'm going to go with 1 2 3 4 into 9 9 9. So we have one shot. I can go ahead and prefix a 0 over here which will not make it a 9 series number. So there is a separate technique for this in Vedic mathematics and that requires the knowledge of the Nikilam Sutra which I am going to explain in the coming videos. However, at this point of time we can solve these kind of problems using our normal practices of instant multiplication. So let me show you how to do that. In this case the number of digits are more than the number of nines in the multiplier. We can't actually go ahead and prefix a zero in front of the nines. That makes it not a number from the nine series because there is a zero prefixed there. So instead of multiplying it with 999, nine, nine, what we can do is we can multiply it with 1000 minus 1. 1000 minus 1 is nothing but 999. So that will be 1, 2, 3, 4 into 1000. Just bring down this 1, 2, 3, 4 down and then also pull down all these three zeros. That's all you need to do for multiplying. Next step is subtract this number with 1, 2, 3, 4. The result is 6, 6, 7, 2, 3, 2, 1. And that's our answer. 1, 2, 3, 2, 7, double 6. Isn't that easy? Suppose instead of uh, a difference of one digit in the 9 series, what if we add a difference of two digits? Even here, it's the same approach what we followed earlier. 
99 is 100 minus 1. So instead of multiplying with 99, we are going to multiply with 100. So that becomes 1, 2, 3, 4 and bringing down two zeros. And finally, subtract this number with 1, 2, 3, 4. And we get 6, 6, 1, 2, 2, 1. The answer is 1, double 2, 1, double 6. That is how easy it is to multiply with a 9 series number. That's it for this video. In the next video, I am going to come up with another trick from Vedic Mathematics. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button below and don't forget to click on the bell icon next to it so that we can directly inform you about the new releases. Thank you for watching this video. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.